As we look at more advanced control with non-intensity parameters, let's review some of our color control options. So I'm going to go ahead and say group six at full enter. Those are my scrollers. So like many things, there's multiple ways that you can change color. One of the first ways we can do this is on the command line. So we can grab our color button in our parameter tiles area and say group six color uh, 11, and that's going to put us in frame 11 of that scroller. So that's a quick way to do it if you know what your frame number is. Another way we can select our colors to use our ML controls. So I'm going to open that up. And again, we'll notice that our, our scroller is shown there. And because we built our scroller role earlier, you can see previews of all the colors that we have access to. So I can quickly click to any of the gels that are available to me, including open. Next, let's look at some control with some LED fixtures. I'm going to say group seven at full. And I'm going to put Remdim on there so it takes out my group six. And these are my seven color LED fixtures. So in my ML controls area, I can use my wheel to drag these up or down. I can use min or max to get to individual colors. Uh, and I can obviously use my color picker here to go through and choose individual colors. Don't forget we also have access to our gel library here. So if I click on that area, I'm rolling my mouse wheel now. I have access to my Roscoe gels, for example, R40. Um, the other thing that I can do is type a particular gel color. So if I want to get color on the command line again, I can click color 5 slash 27, 5 for my Roscoe Lux library, and 27 for red. And when I hit enter, it goes to those colors. Don't forget if you want to put in individual values for a single parameter, you can click on that title, type the value that you want, and that will go to that value. Next, let's look at some fixtures with uh, color mixing flags. Group 14, at full, remdim, enter. Those are those guys. So we're going to scroll over. And you'll notice that we have two color systems in this fixture. The first is a chip wheel. So similar to a scroller, this fixture has glass that can move in and color the light. So we can easily change those. For now, I'm going to move that back to open. And we also have our cyan, magenta, and yellow wheels. So just like before, we can min and max those. I can type in a specific value by clicking on the title. And I have access to my gel library for color matches. Or I can use my color picker. If you don't have your ML controls open, don't forget that you always have access to your parameter tiles here in your CIA. So for example, if we wanted to put magenta at 50, we could do that without having to access our ML controls.